Hello everyone, welcome to Amazon SPPI series. My name is Premlata and I am an API integration manager on the Amazon Selling Partner API team. In this video, I will walk you through the steps on how to update Amazon business price and quantity discounts through Feeds API. The agenda of this video is to understand what is business price and quantity discounts and how to update them through APIs along with the Postman demo. First, let us understand what is business price and quantity discount. As an Amazon business seller, you can offer business price and quantity discounts. Business price specifies a single unit price discounted exclusively to Amazon business customers. Quantity discounts are the tiered discounts available exclusively to Amazon business customers for higher volume purchases. Each seller in the Amazon business seller program specifies tiers for quantity pricing. So there are two discount models available. One is fixed and second is percent. With the fixed model, you can set specific prices for each discount tier. You can specify up to five tiers on attribute quantity lower bound and each lower bound has a price such as quantity price one associated with it at which discount becomes active. And with the percent model, you can apply discounts based on the percentage of your business price by using a number between 0 to 99 for the discount you want to offer. Now, let us see how to update business price and quantity discounts through API. So the only prerequisite for an Amazon business selling partner is to create an SP API application in order to update the business price and quantity discount feeds through API. Using feeds API, you can automate these feeds either to edit or add delete business price and quantity discounts. If you have an existing offer, you do not have to create a new offer for business pricing and quantity discounts. Add business pricing and quantity discounts to your existing offer in the Amazon store along with the standard customer prices, either by flat file or an XML file. If the ASIN is not previously sold in the Amazon stores, then create a listing using category specific feed and add business prices and quantity discounts to it. And these are the relevant feed types for the API to add or delete business price and quantity discounts. This is an XML sample to update business price and quantity discounts. The left section of the sample represents percent model. One should enter a number between 0 to 99 for the discount to offer. As shown in the example, if you want to offer 10% off on the total when 5 items are bought, and 20% of off on the total when 10 items are bought. Then enter 10 in the quantity price 1 and 20 in the quantity price 2. And 5 in the quantity lower bound 1 and 10 in the quantity lower bound 2. The right section of the XML sample denotes the fixed model. In the fixed model, Enter the quantity prices you want to charge in quantity price 1 and quantity price 2 attributes. In this example, if you want to charge $210 per item when purchasing 10 items and $205 per item when purchasing 20 items, then enter 210 in quantity price 1 and 10 in the quantity lower bound 1 and 205 in the quantity price 2 and 20 in the quantity lower bound 2. Hope this example makes clear of two discount methods available. Now let us see the demo to add or delete business price and quantity discounts through Feeds API. First, retrieve LWA access token by providing client credentials 
and the refresh token from the respective region that you want to make calls to. If you are using role ARN in your application, make an STS call to get the temporary credentials. Under the res assumed role response, you will be receiving an access key, ID and secret access key and session token. Once you retrieve all the credentials, you can begin with Feeds API and upload your feed. As step 1, call to the create feed document, specifying the content type of the feed. Amazon returns a feed document ID and a URL to upload the feed documents. Copy the URL. and provide your feed. Here I am uploading the XML sample that I've shown earlier with one message as fixed discount and other using person discount method and you can upload the sample and the response is 200 OK which means a success. In step 3 call to create feed operation Provide the feed document ID from the step 1 and provide the feed type and the marketplace IDs the feed needs to be applied and any other feed options if required. And you will be receiving a feed ID as the response. Copy this feed ID and call to get feed operation. Provide the feed ID value here. Amazon sends you the processing status. If the processing status is done, that means your upload is successful and completed. And in the response, you will be receiving a result feed ID as well. Copy that result feed ID and proceed to step five, which is get feed document. Provide the feed document ID here to retrieve the processing report in which you would be getting all the details of the errors if any and this ends the process similarly you can upload any feed through feeds api you can update your business prices and quantity discounts delete them and create business offers as well Now, let us discuss a unique use case on how to create business only offer. If you are an Amazon business seller and wants to create business only offer on your listings, here are the steps. If you have a previous offer, delete it first and create a new offer using category specific feed and leave the standard price blank. If you are providing a value in the standard price, your offer will be available to all the customers in the Amazon store. And now add a business price using business price or quantity files and leave the standard price empty or blank. These steps will convert your offer into a business only offer. The XML samples to update business price and quantity discounts and to delete and to create business only offers are attached below for your reference. So this is all I had for you today. Hope you found this useful and don't forget to like, subscribe for more SPPI videos and happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner ABI team. And thanks for watching.